Hello guys, welcome back to The Den. Once again, it is Monday, so my name's Evan, and I'm here kicking off this week's round of videos. This week we're going to be talking about current events, things that are happening in the news, in our lives, whatever, and we're giving our opinions on them. I'll be honest, I haven't been following current events probably as close as I should. I definitely understand that the media is constantly redirecting our attention away from the things that we should be focusing on, but I very much am falling into that trap. I mean, what can I say? They're really good at it. So instead, I'm just going to talk about some of my current events. Or just one specifically. Now, as many of you know, I work in a cell phone store. I sell them for a living, I get people set up, I troubleshoot them, all of that sort of shit. So, the biggest current event in my life right now is the fact that Apple is releasing the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus on Friday the 19th. Seriously though, I kind of hate when Apple puts out a new phone for a couple of different reasons. Apple's favorite thing when they release a new model is to upgrade their phone just enough to get you into the store to buy a new one. That means they're not going to revamp their operating system, they're not coming up with any crazy new design or anything, they're basically just building off what they had last year. I mean, now the marketing strategy does work very well, clearly, they've got the largest percentage of the market share out there when it comes to mobility sales. And everybody still wants it, they don't even know why it's better, but they want it. Because owning the latest and greatest Apple product is basically a status symbol. And that's why they want it. So what in the new iPhone is actually different? Now let's go through some of the features, because I did do some really cool stuff with the new phone. The thing I'm most excited about is the sapphire glass that they've implemented. Now, every other phone on the market has been using this Corning Gorilla Glass, which we've used forever. It's supposed to be the most durable glass on the planet, scratch resistant, smash resistant, all of that stuff. Apple's using this thing called sapphire glass. Now, sapphire glass has been tested, and it's apparently the second hardest mineral on Earth after diamonds. So it's supposed to be entirely scratch proof, like it's not supposed to scratch whatsoever. I don't know if I really believe that it's not going to get scratched, but the sapphire glass aspect of it does seem pretty cool. It's going to be super durable, oleophobic, which means little bits and pieces of stuff don't actually cling to it, water just beads off, all that sort of stuff. That's awesome. Also, they're coming out with their new operating system, which has this whole mobile payments thing. That's great too. I mean, maybe BlackBerry had that back in 2009, but that's none of my business. In the 6 Plus, you're going to be getting a feature built into the camera called image stabilization. Basically, the lens for your camera sits inside this little gel. So if your hands are shaky, then you take a photo and the photo is going to be less blurry because it's sitting in the gel, it's suspended there, and it's not going to move around as much. However, the iPhone 6 is not as badass as everybody thinks the iPhone 6 is. I'm sorry to say it, Apple fanboys. The Samsung Nexus had most of that stuff back in 2012. Not only that, they did it for way fucking cheaper. Now, I'm not sure about internationally, but in Canada, the iPhone is going to be launching at $270 on a two-year contract. That's crazy. So in terms of the hardware specs on the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, you're looking at an 8 megapixel camera. That's right, 8. My Samsung Galaxy S5 has 16 megapixel camera. You're looking at, I think it's like a 5.1 inch display on the iPhone 6, which is about the same size as a Galaxy S5. And on the iPhone 6 Plus, you're looking at a 5.7 inch display. It's a huge phone. It's gonna be bigger than the Samsung Galaxy Note that's out right now. It's already the biggest phone on the market. So this thing's gonna be a beast. So that's pretty cool, but Samsung had image stabilization back in the Galaxy S3. Come on now, keep it up iPhone. So come Friday, everybody's gonna be rushing into my store to spend a whole ton of money on a phone that they don't really know why it's better than the one that they're currently using other than the fact that they can brag about having the latest and greatest iPhone, and they will. I think it's stupid. I think Apple customers are some sort of combination of a sheep mixed with a hungry, hungry hippo that they just devour everything that they're told to devour without question. It's kind of sad. And working in the industry, if I spend five minutes talking to somebody about another Android device versus the iPhone 6, generally I've got them pretty interested in that new Android device and they want to go with that instead because they like things like being able to customize your phone, download your own ringtones and keyboards, which is just now becoming available in the iPhone. And this is the big thing. Every time they come up with a new product, it's supposed to be revolutionary. Oh my God, the iPhone now has third-party keyboards. Great. That's awesome. Okay, you know, I haven't been using my stock keyboard on my Android device for the past six years. So, to all of you who are super excited about getting the new iPhone 6, upgrading from your 5S and getting that 6, running in and getting it on Friday, and dropping however much money it's going to take, don't. Because the phone's really not that much different, you hear me? Alright, now that we've cleared all that up, that's actually, that's about it for today. Um, that's my current event, that's what I've been dealing with, and that's what I look forward to dealing with next Friday. So, that's it, and... Stay tuned for next week. We have something fun coming up for next week. As you know, we did a scavenger hunt. Spencer was the winner. Congratulations, Spence. Fucking dick for choosing Vegemite that he knew nobody else would be able to fucking find. Anyway, Spencer was allowed to come up with another stipulation to put on us um, when we film our video for next week. So what we're going to be doing is we're all going to be acting as somebody else, I guess. I'm going to be doing a video pretending to be Eric. So we'll see how that goes. I really don't want to have to shave my head.
and his beard is more luscious than mine is, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out, like and subscribe to the video. Check us out at facebook.com slash men of the den and youtube.com slash men of the den. That's it. That's all. I'm out. Goodbye.